Hi, Don Lewis here with another vlog post, and today we are talking about decluttering your craft stash. First of all, thank you to everybody who left a comment on my first vlog post and for those who sent me Facebook messages and emails. I will be making a nice big long list of all the questions that you've asked and things that you'd like me to cover and I look forward to bringing those to you coming up soon. But today, let's talk about decluttering your craft stash. So whether it's big or small, whether it's paper, fabric, yarn, paint, foam, glitter, I don't know what you're into, but you probably have a stash of some sort. And the things that are right down the bottom of your stash are probably getting all trashed and yucky. So I have a little homework for you. Just dig into your stash and pull out five things, five, five things that you do not love anymore. You might've loved it when you bought it, but now you don't. Uh, or perhaps things that you no longer need, crafts that you have uh, given up or you know you've tried and tested it you didn't enjoy it or you're over it whatever but go pull out five things you don't need then the next task is to get rid of them okay they need to leave your house and there are a couple of different delivery methods for that the first is that you could just chuck them in the bin but if that makes you feel bad, and let's be honest, we all pay good money for these things, there are a couple of other options as well. You could sell them. There are a lot of buy and sell groups on Facebook. Uh, there are places like Gumtree, eBay, Etsy. It's a craft supply, so you are allowed to sell it on Etsy. Uh, maybe a local trash and treasure market. For only five things, it might not be worth it. But if you kind of get carried away and do more, good on you, um, you might be able to have a big de-stash sale. There are even craft de-stash markets. I've participated in one of those here on the Central Coast. The other option is to donate, and you could donate to your local senior centre, retirement village, um, preschool, primary school, special needs unit at a local high school, play group. Have a think about other people who work with it. Even offer it up on a local pay it forward um, group or uh, a recycling group. Just give it away. If you don't want to sell it and it's still got some life in it, give it away. You'll be amazed who would like to take that stuff off your hands. A last option is this, you pull something out and you're thinking, oh, but I really wanted to use this. Use it. You know, get stuck in and use it. It is taking up space in your beautiful creative space and that clutter it messes with your head Look, I don't know about you but I'm telling you for me having clutter around it messes with my creativity because part of my brain is thinking I really need to do that I really need to do that I really need to do that or I'm constantly working around stuff that I really don't use or need or love anymore to get to the good stuff that I want to work with it takes time to maintain clutter whether that be stuff in your general home or whether it be in your craft space it takes time and clutter is a thief of time so i hope you're going to do your homework and pick out those five things and get rid of them in the meantime please keep the questions coming i still want to know what you would like to talk about as far as art and craft supplies and business and hobbies and all that kind of thing is concerned. And uh, so please leave the comments down below. Uh, I will link to my blog if you go back and look at, actually, I will also link to my old blog. It's called Cake and Enemy. I've got a lot of decluttering um, and money savvy stuff there as well as recipes and crafty stuff. So in the meantime, if you would like to see more vlog posts and you want to be the first to know when they're up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and maybe share this with a friend who's got too much craft stuff. You know who I mean. Have a wonderful crafty day, decluttering crafty day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.